My name is Peter Gwent. I'm an interventional uh, endoscopist working in uh, two uh, different hospital settings. One in a university hospital in Antwerp and next to that I'm working as well in a rather large uh, regional hospital in uh, Ghent area. Um, and as an interventional uh, endoscopist I'm also taking responsibility in uh, training young uh, gastroenterologists in ERCP, EMR and ESD. I think endoscopy can benefit a lot uh, from artificial intelligence. As we all know, we are all not, we're not always as focused as we want to be. We're uh, doing long days, working long hours, um, and, I'm, and at the end of the day, uh, I'm quite confident, I'm quite sure that also as an experienced endoscopist, I miss, I do miss polyps. And um, so I think it can help us to stay focused. It will uh, show or hint us to uh, the spot where we have to take more or place more attention. CADI is a um, system using artificial intelligence um, and actually it helps you to find the polyps that you did not see on forehand. So it really helps you to detect the polyps and afterwards it can help you to characterize the polyps better. That's actually a tough question, the major benefit of KEDA. I think rather uh, that uh, it has a role in daily practice. You can use it whenever you do a colonoscopy. Uh, of course, if you're doing an interventional endoscopy in ESD, then it's not helpful anymore. Then the lesion has already been characterized on forehand. So, but if you're doing a colonoscopy, and most of colonoscopies are being done for screening surveillance, then of course it will definitely be of help in detecting more polyps. It does the work that it should do. So it's uh, meant to or, or uh, designed for detecting polyps and it truly detects polyps. Um, of course, there are false positives. There are certain, uh, quite often, uh, boxes showing actually uh, a place where there are no polyps to be found. But it's not in a way that it really uh, disturbs you or distracts you, it's just there. And, uh, but on the other hand, as I just wanted to say, um, not already a, a couple of times, it really showed adenomatous, rather large polyps that I did not detect, although I was looking very carefully. The ideal interface for me is the interface that actually is invisible. So it does not distract you, it doesn't ask attention, it's just there doing its job. And for me, uh, the CAD eye system is really working like this. It just discreetly shows you a box if it thinks there is a polyp. Um, so that's actually what it has to do. Uh, so it's, 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 for me, it's very user friendly. In, in several ways. First, for the patient, um, uh, the system uh, has an, increases your adenoma detection rate, as this has already been shown. Um, so, uh, for the patient, it's of course a benefit that all polyps who are um, in the colon are removed, uh, especially as it has been shown that this might reduce the risk of intervalcular kind of carcinoma. Um, but also for the physician, as um, uh, I tend to ask also to, to my assisting nurse to look to the colon to, to uh, uh, arouse me or to say I think I saw a polyp. Well, the system is now actually our sixth eye, fifth and sixth eye or fifth eye, uh, helping us to have an even higher abnormal detection rate. Of course, of course, uh, beyond the shadow of that, as um, also, these experienced endoscopists are not paying always for the hundred, fully 100% attention. So everybody can benefit from um, CADI. And at this time, we are trying, uh, doing a small trial, looking whether or not there is a difference between experienced and uh, uh, trainees uh, endoscopists. 
So uh, the, the definite answer will come later, but in my opinion, as an experienced endoscopist, for me, uh, at least it helps me to have a higher detection rate of adenomas. Actually, everybody. Um, I think it will, if, if you're doing colonoscopies, of course, then, then uh, it's definitely of help. Um, uh, uh, whatever your grade of experience is. So uh, also for trainees, I think, and as the interface is, uh, as I already mentioned, not really asking a lot of attention, it does not distract you. So it can already be used, in my opinion, by trainees. The most important thing, of course, is that all adenomas in the colon uh, that were there are removed. So artificial intelligence, helps to get a higher uh, number of adenomas removed. Because it, it uh, gives you the extra eye, it really looks with you to the colon, detecting polyps. And most of the time you detect them both, but every now and then the system will detect a polyp that you did not notice.